This is just a quick warm up if you've been sitting around all day or if you just woke up in the morning. So you're going to just start to bounce around, just shake, just let your arms go loose and just, you don't have to lift your feet off the ground if you don't want to, but just, this is going to start to put your body into a parasympathetic state. It's also going to start to activate the fascia. So you can do this as long as you want, but at least a minute's probably good. And throw in some jumping jacks. I'm just kind of wild out. <laughs> so for this next section, you're going to need a strap, a shirt or a towel will do just fine. So feet distance apart, your toes will be tucked, sit your bum back onto your heels. This is a great stretch for the feet and it strengthens them as well. Mind you, it may be very intense. Uh, this is great for any kind of plantar fasciitis or if you wear high heels a lot, you might hear your feet talking to you. So with the strap, hold it down in front of you, shoulder distance apart. It might be wider, it might, might be narrower, just depending on how tight your shoulders are. So you want to just keep your arms straight. Go back and forth, front of your hips to the back of your hips. The big bulky parts of your shoulders, your deltoids will come up to your ears to get the strap through, that is fine. Keep pressing through your toes. Try keeping your ribs tucked in, so avoid having them flare out too, too much. Now instead of forward and back, bring the arms overhead and circle the arms in one direction and then the other. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Try to keep the arms as straight as possible. We're doing the strap work also to distract us from our heel stretch, which should be feeling pretty juicy. Now we're gonna come onto our hands and knees for some cat cows. Shoulders on top of wrists. Just rock back and forth to put movement into the wrists. Inhale, start to arch your back, tailbone lifts up, head lifts, look up, belly relaxes. Exhale, tailbone curls under, belly lifts, Look towards your belly button. You can tuck and untuck your toes as you cycle through the cat cows with the breath. And just remember to keep pressing through the hands. Inhale. Cow. Exhale. Cat. Press into your hands and the feet. Lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Hands are spread, shoulder width apart. Heels are gently pressing towards the ground. Take some movement here. Try to keep your rig ribs in. The head is in line with the biceps and the shoulders are away from the ears. Hug the armpits and inner legs towards midline. Take whatever movement you want here, maybe lift one of your legs, three-legged dog, and just explore some movement here. I like to circle my leg and my hip socket. You can also just find stillness in the pose and just breathe deeply for a few breaths. Now we're gonna inhale, look up, knees bend. Exhale, walk or gently hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms go all the way up, maybe a little back bend. 
Exhale, Samasthi Tahiti. Feet are hip distance apart and parallel, equally weighted from one foot to the other. Inhale, arms go up, reach up, maybe back bend, not necessary. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, long spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into plank. Inhale, shift forward, lower into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, keep the arms straight. Exhale, hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Few breaths here. Keep the shoulders rolling down and back, keeping the ribs in. Take a micro bend in the knee if you're a hyperextender. Inhale, look forward, bend at your knees, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Samasthiti. One more sun salutation. Inhale, reach up, maybe back bend. Exhale, hands to your hips, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shin. Exhale, plant your hands, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, head lifts, bend into your knees. Exhale, gently hop forward. Halfway lift, exhale, fold forward, inhale, all the way up, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms down and up, sit your bum back as if into a chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, long spine. Plant your hands, walk back into plank. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, keep the thighs lifted from the ground. Exhale, hinge at your hips, lift them up and back, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, plant the left heel, square the chest to the front, arms up. Plant the hands, option keep the foot hovering, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, right heel plants. Arms go up, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, lower chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Here you can find stillness or a little bit of movement if you'd like. Inhale, look up, bend at the knees. Exhale, gently hop or step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, into chair. Exhale, Samasthi Tahiti. Legs together. Sit your bum back into your chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Plant the heel, arms up. Exhale, plant your hands back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plant the left foot. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, look up, bend at the knees. Exhale, gently hop. Sit your bum back, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands by your sides. Thank you so much for watching.